and Jedi of Believe, and you're here in the office of the Always Believe House. Oh, today we're going to write quadratic qu equations in standard form. We're going to graph them and find the vertex. Oh, 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 oh. It's going to be F-U-N, fun, fun, fun. So let's get started. Oh, and a magical whiteboard appears, and let's start rocking and rolling. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so this week we're going to learn about uh, writing equations, quadratic equations. Kind of the same way you did with a line when you got the slope of the y-intercept. With a quadratic, with a parabola though, you're going to have to get the vertex, the x-intercepts, the y-intercepts, find the steepness of the curve to graph those. So we're going to be talking about all of those items. So let's get rocking and rolling. The standard form of a quadratic equation is written as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. If a is negative, graph opens down. That means you have a max. So if the a is negative, it starts off with a negative x squared. The graph's going to open down. You're going to have a top, okay? The C will always be the y-intercept. The C will always be the y-intercept. The C will always be the y-intercept. So if you get it in a y equal ax squared plus bx plus c, that C is the where the graph will cross the y-axis. Okay, the B is going to move it left to right, if there's a B in there, and the A is going to be the steepness. We'll learn about that later on. We don't need to know that for this lesson. Okay, so on the first four problems, all we're going to do is make it y equal ax squared plus bx plus c. So we want the y first, the x squared second, the bx third, and the c last. So let's go to this problem. We want the y first equals the x squared has to go to the right and the 7 has to go to the right. If we showed our work, we would do this, wouldn't we? Remember, when you move a number across the equal sign, the sign of the term will flip. So right now, we want the x squared first. We have a positive 3x squared. We're going to move it across. We're going to end up with a negative 3x squared. The next thing we need to write down is the plus 2x. It's already on the right. And then the minus 7 will turn into a plus 7. Okay? Two things you need to know in this lesson today. This means the graph opens down. So the graph's going to look something like this. Okay? And the 7 is going to be the y-intercept. That's what you need to know from this, okay? If the A is negative, it opens down, and the 7 is going to be your y-intercept. Let's go to the next one. Remember, we want it to be y, x squared, x, and c. The y is right here, the x squares. Those are in the right spot. So I'm going to write down y equals x squared. The 5 has to go to the right, and so does the x. The opposite of plus x is a minus x. So if we were to subtract negative x from both sides, we would have minus x. And then the 5 goes across, plus 5, plus 5, and that goes at the end. Two things you need to know. The x squared is positive. That means this graph opens up, and the 5 will be the y-intercept. Okay, so we're going to make it y equal x squared plus bx plus c. When you move the terms across, the sign will flip. The y always needs to be positive, okay? Let's go to the next one, number 3. Y equal x squared. We need to move the x squared to the right. The opposite of a plus x squared is a minus x squared. So y equals negative x squared. Just remember, when you move it across, the sign flips. Then on the last one, the y is in the right spot. The x squared is in the right spot. The 7 is on the right, but we got to move the 6x across, don't we? So let's write down y equals x squared. Move the 6x across. We're going to get minus 6x, and we're going to have minus 7 at the end. This graph, this graph, oh, I'm sorry, on number 3, this graph will open down, and the y-intercept is 0 because there's no c. Sorry about that. On the next one, the x squared is positive. That graph will open up, and this right here, negative 7, will be our y-intercept. Very important concepts from that ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? Two big things you got to know, like bam, right off the bat. Now then, let's go down to number five, okay? On your formula chart, they will have this equation. That equation is for the axis of symmetry. Remember, the axis of symmetry 
is the line that cuts the parabola in half, okay? So if you do negative b over 2a, you will get the line that cuts the parabola in half. That's the x-ordered pair or the x-coordinate of the ordered pair. We're going to graph that because you will not make a math error if you graph it, okay? So let's go to the first one. We're going to get it in standard form. If you don't get it in standard form, it's going to be wrong. So the y is in the right spot and the x is on the right. We have to move the 2x squared and the 1, don't we? So the opposite of a minus 2x squared is a positive 2x squared. So we're going to get y equals 2x squared. The 3x is in the right spot, and the 1 has to go to the right, doesn't it? Minus 1. This graph will open up, and this right here is the y-intercept. Okay, so let's write down standard form. y equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. It opens up, and I know my y-intercept is negative 1. Now then, we're going to graph this line and get the axis of symmetry and the vertex. So go to your calculator. Okay, if you need to, remember, you're going to hit the home button, go to graph, and then to get a graph up, it's menu three, menu graph function, menu three one, and that gives you the graph. After this, I'm just going to use tab, and that's going to generate my graph. And we're going to graph 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. So 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. Let me make sure that's right. 2x squared plus 3x minus 1, that is the correct graph. Make sure you check it before you graph it because you'll get the wrong graph if it's not right. Hit enter. We have our parabola, and now that I'm going to trace to the vertex. So hit menu, trace is 5, and then Ooh, I did hit the wrong button. I hit 6. Okay, so menu, trace is 5, and then graph trace is 1. Now then, I need to go to the bottom. So remember, use the left and right arrow buttons. Do not use the up and down. I'm going to keep hitting the left arrow button until I get to the bottom. And notice it says minimum because it has a bottom because it opens up. And the order pair is right there, 0.75 and negative 2.13. That's what we're going to write down, okay? 2x squared plus 3x minus 1, 2x, that's it, okay? So the axis of symmetry is going to be y equal negative 0.75. That's the, x of the, that's the x of the vertex, okay? The vertex is negative 0 0.75 comma 2.13. Okay, so graph the equation. And then get, just write down that vertex, this number, and this should be x equal. This number and the x, the, the axis of symmetry and the x coordinate of the ordered pair is going to be the same number. Okay? And this number right here is the minimum. Okay? That number in the y is the minimum. So the vertex is really important. This will be your axis of symmetry. This will be the max or the min. Okay? Every single time. Let's go to the next problem. Okay, so we have to put this in standard form. Check, check, ding, 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 ding. It is in standard form. So write down negative x squared. Or first off, let's look at this. This graph is going to open down, and this right here is our y-intercept in it. Okay, so write down negative x squared minus 4x plus 8. It's going to open down, and then the y-intercept is 8. Okay, so I know all of that from this, okay? Now then, let's graph it, and we're going to write down the vertex and then get the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to go to my graph. I'm going to hit delete, delete, delete three times, and then hit enter. Now then, I'm going to graph negative x squared minus 4x plus 8. So hit the tab button. Negative x squared is it minus 4x plus 8. Minus 4x plus 8. So negative x squared minus 4x plus 8, check, I got the equation right. Make sure you check your calculator before you hit enter. Hit enter, and boom, I get this. Notice the vertex is at the top. I can't see it yet. I'm going to go to trace, and I'm going to hit the left arrow button until I get to the top. So hit menu, trace is 5, and then graph trace is 1. And notice my y-intercept is 0, 8 in it. Now then we're going to hit the left arrow button. 
until it says maximum. And the maximum is negative 2 comma 12. That's the order pair I need. So let's write down our vertex is negative 2 comma 12. I'm going to put this over here. This is going to be my axis of symmetry. This will be my max, won't it? Okay, so the axis of symmetry is going to be x equal negative 2. Piece of cake. Oh, 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 oh. F-U-N, fun, fun, fun. Also, technically to be right, your y-intercept is an ordered pair, okay? So let's write down the y-intercept as an ordered pair instead of just the number. Okay, let's keep going. we got a couple of more that you're going to get your homework assignment, okay? Well, technically this is your homework. I'll do one more for you, okay? And then you get three of them to do on your own. Let's do number 10. I'm going to show you how to punch the fraction in there. Notice that this is in standard form. Okay, so we're going to have y equals. Now the negative, the negative means it's going to open down. And this right here is my y intercepted. Okay, so y equal negative, and I'm going to put 0.5 for one half. That's going to be easier to type in the calculator. 0.5x squared minus x plus 4. This graph will open down because of the negative, and the y-intercept is going to be 0, 4. So when we trace, that's the order pair that's going to show up. Now then go back to your calculator, hit delete, 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 then hit enter. Also notice here, I'm going to show you a trick. My, my origin is not in the middle anymore. Sometimes when you trace, you can't see your origin anymore. To make the origin show up, again, hit menu. Where does it say window? It says window at 4. And then where does it say standard? It says standard at 5. So menu 4, 5, boom, the, the origin's back in the middle of it. Now then hit the tab button, and that gives us a new equation, and negative 0.5x squared minus x plus 4. So negative 0.5x squared minus x plus 4. Minus x plus 4. So negative 0.5x squared minus x plus 4. This graph's going to open down, and it's going to be a little bit wider because 0.5 is less slope, okay? We'll talk about that later this week. And it should cross the y-axis at 4. So the parabola is going to be a little high here. Hit enter, and we got it, okay? Now then, we need to trace to the vertex. So we're going to hit menu, hit trace as 5, and then hit one graph trace, Type in the left arrow button until it says maximum. So the left arrow button, just a few clicks, and bam, I got my maximum. It's negative 1, 4.5. That is the vertex in it. So let's go back to the paper. The vertex is negative 1, 4.5, and then I'm going to write that over here. The negative 1 is going to be my axis of symmetry, and the 4.5, it's a top. It's going to be the max in it. So the axis of symmetry will be x equal negative 1. Now then, you got three more to do. Have a blast doing them, okay? It's going to be just like eating an Oreo cookie. Oh, 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 oh. Remember to graph it in, get it in standard form, graph it, and then trace to the vertex, then write down that vertex. The x of the vertex is your axis of symmetry. The y of the vertex will be your max or min. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Remember... You are amazing, you are created to do wonderful things, and you are awesome.